think I have a, a moral responsibility for all the, all the, the children in Western Barbershire. Um, and I appreciate exactly how you and other parents in Belvere feel about this. However, I have to say, in all honesty, that I do not believe that looking at the financial challenges that Western Barbershire Council faces, that we can any longer afford to sustain schools of 65 pupils in a northern setting. Do you have any request requests further out at the moment? Yeah, I, I had a further look at the placing request. Thank you the pl the, the, the placing the request and the outwork for our seven leaflets the, at the moment. The role Do you know 24 and 25 have been out the subsequent last two years? And can we put it out to the floor as to why they have went? Yes, I mean, I think, that the, I, think, I think that there are a number of reasons, and I, I, I think it's important to stress that the school role has been falling for a long time. And yes, it's, not, it's, it's not just over the last few years. But the, the, the fact is that the role has been falling and, people, and parents have been voting with their feet. And I think that there are various reasons for that. I think that, that uh, parents if parents perceive that the school is likely to close, then they, they, that can be a reason for it. We talked on Monday night about the difficulties in terms of recruitment. The school has had uh, four different head teachers in the last couple of years because we can't, we can't recruit because we can't, we can't recruit a permanent head teacher. Can't recruit and we won't actually retain staff in the positions that you put them in. Sorry? We're not retaining staff in positions that you're putting them in. Well, you have there, there have been, I'm not going to, for the, I don't think that the, we're going to go into the details no, of that. I know, I'm but in that fact, this has been a long-term problem. And in fact, if you go back 10 years, uh, the, I, think that, I think I counted that the school has had either eight or nine head teachers in that period. Um, so there are a number of issues here. But the point is that when you have a school as small as that, then the costs of keeping it going are huge. I would also argue, and I know that people disagree with this, that you have got a, a, an issue in delivering the richness of education that you would want to, where you've only got four teachers, um, where you're unlikely to have the spectrum of talent that you get in a larger school. Um, the head teacher who's there at the moment is having huge difficulties with, uh, 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 with an, uh, staff absence, with getting any supply. That's a problem in all our schools, but in a big school you can manage it. In a school of that size, it's, it's almost impossible. So I actually believe that the, that the youngsters would get a better deal in a larger school. I take your point about, tran about the transport situation, and we'll come on to that when we come to that issue, and I'll, 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 I'll try to address that. <laughs> uh, but that is, remember, just an option at the moment. Um, and it is the case that uh, if, it, if the entitlement were to move from one mile to two miles, uh, the, then the under one mile, almost all the children in Belvere would get free transport. Under two miles, hardly anyone would. So... That's 